big boys yo how are you guys doing today man uh, we're gonna look at some starter squads today that i made with the stream earlier today uh if you guys aren't already subscribed make sure you guys do drop a like if you enjoy and let's head right into it all right guys so i built about 10 ish uh teams with uh the stream uh, i also have a couple that i built myself off stream that we'll be showing at the end but uh yeah so I'm just gonna let you guys know right now, right? You might see a couple of the same players over in multiple squads just because there's not a lot of players. You know, not every player is out yet on the database. Uh, I know they release more on certain websites, but you know, on this one that we're using Footmine to uh, make the squad, we're just going with what we got. And if there's any like placeholders or anything, I'll let you know, uh, but I don't think there is. But yeah, let's head straight into it. So for most of these teams, the formation that I personally rock is 4 and 2 and 2 narrow. You know, so uh, most of them you can kind of see, like, for example, this one. Got three dudes in the midfield. Uh, Chan, CDM, DePaul, and uh, Fernandez at center mids. You know, I would probably go Carrasco, Correa uh, uh, up top. Or actually Rafa, probably. And then Correa at Cam is probably what I would do. But, uh, yeah, so these teams are going to range from uh, literally, you know, uh, not dirt cheap, but kind of cheap, pretty cheap, honestly up to nothing like top top god tier because i'm going to say that for a different video but you know uh you might see some teams that are a couple hundred thousand coins at uh, near the end so you know but just keep in mind that most of these are for people that use 412 narrow um but 4231 does work for a lot of these as well you might just have to switch a guy out or whatnot but yeah i really like this team uh just because i mean we i just feel like we had to have pepe in there right you'll you might see him a couple more times um but yeah, I think it's a great team overall. Uh, pretty balanced. Akanji, Schultz, they're going to be pretty cheap in my opinion. Chan, uh, I don't care how good his stats look. If you look at FIFA 21, uh, he is not going to be that expensive. All right, so yeah, that's the first squad. Nothing too crazy, you know, starting off decent. Um, this second squad right here, so if you guys know me, you know I love to do hybrids. I literally like to just mess around and do hybrids. So right here, man, I found this little, uh, I think they're in like the Saudi League now, Taliska and Paulinho. So check this out, all right? It looks weird right now, right? So what I would do, once again, is 4-2-2 and two and two narrow, Allen CDM, Paulinho, Barella, center mids. The only problem with this midfield is it, it is a little slow, uh, honestly, compared to what you can get. So, you know, just a little fun team. But uh, yeah, James, Godfrey, uh, Skriniar, Spinozola, you got the basically half of Inter Milan right here. Um, but I just think they all, you know, they link well, and uh, yeah, they're going to be decent. Most expensive player on this team, probably, definitely, probably Martinez. Um, but yeah, the right side, besides Godfrey, should be pretty, pretty dirt cheap, in my opinion. So uh, yeah, moving on, though. Once again, 4 2 2 narrow is the move for that one. Okay, so once again, we have the same guys. Like I said, some of them you might see, Carrasco and DePaul in this case. You could easily switch out Carrasco, you know, for... Vinicius Jr. Um, or any other La Liga left wing that you want, um, you know. There's, uh, you know, we'll, we'll add in Vinny just for this, just for this sake. All right, so we'll leave him there because he works. But you, like I said, you can go with anybody. Rodrigo, Rafinha got that link going on. Uh, Kappa, uh, not really fast, but he's got 88 physical, so he should be okay. Uh, Hermoso and Nacho, not insanely fast, but not necessarily slow center backs either. In gold, you can literally throw anyone. I just picked the first guy I saw. Grimaldo should be um, pretty cheap for those stats, in my opinion. Uh, Koke, DePaul, kind of slow uh, of a, you know, for a midfield. Uh, obviously, we can afford Lorente. That would be insane. But for now, we're going to put in Koke. Uh, and Cunha up top, man. Um, like I said, 4 and 2 and 2 so you can play it however you want. Um, this one actually works better, in my opinion, probably for 4-2-3-1. Um, you know, these two CDM, and then you can go... Um, Fast dudes out wide, maybe you know Cunha and Rodrigo through the center, something like that. But yeah, uh, let's move on. So yeah, this one's actually one of my favorites. All right, it's you can tell it'll probably be a little pricier than uh, the teams we just looked at. Um, in defense, Spinazzola looks great. Akanji, you got the little hyperlink going on with Berkey, which I personally like a lot. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce him, but Lacroix maybe 88 pace. I mean, everyone's talking about him, right? Right here. So the only thing here is. Um, Zakaria is on 6 cam. You could swap it like this, but then he would be on 6 cam, you know, so it's... Yeah, I just decided, uh, you know, I feel like he'll be okay. If you have a manager in loyalty, he'll be on 8. So, yeah, so here up top, you got Mario, who looks literally insane, if you look at his in-games. 
Uh, Correa, once again, you could swap out with Lautaro if you want. Or if you're on a budget budget, uh, Alexis Sanchez, he links as well. Barella, once again, he's just, if you look at his dribbling stats especially, he's like a cheap De Jong, um, Frankie De Jong, that is. Uh, or he will be. McTarrion this year, one of his best cards in years. I think he's four-star, five-star as well. So he's very good. Ilicic, um, so he's a, kind of like a mixed player. He's 75 pace, but he has good, uh, you know, really good shooting and passing stats and also good dribbling. He does have low agility and balance, though. So depending on how the meta of FIFA 22 is, he may or may not be good. Like I said, you can easily swap him out for Lautaro, Alexis Sanchez, or maybe somebody else as well. But uh, yeah, this team, literally, you could just play it as is if you want it, man. I'd probably swap put Ailsage in the middle, but you can play it as is in this formation if you want. Okay, so right here, man, this Makis or Matches guy in La Liga is so, so under. Like, he's so, he's finally the most slept on card in all of FIFA. Real talk up to this point. Like, this is just the slept on team, all right? Aspas, Morales, I mean, Morales especially. He's, he looks, he just looks really, really good. I don't think he'll be too, too pricey. Um, 86 pace, 85 dribbling, 82 shooting. You can look at his in games on a different website as well. Aspas has, you know, even better shooting stats. Um, this Machis guy, his him as well. If you guys look at his in games, it's really, really good. And now here we've got uh, Nabry uh, linking to Chan again, and then this time I threw in Klosterman. He'll probably be a bit more pricey, you know, but uh, you know, just threw him in uh, and Babu once again because there's not really many fullbacks. Any German goalie, uh, and then you got the Nacho, Kamavinga, Jordi Alba triangle. Uh, Jordi Alba shouldn't be too expensive, but I'm sure there's other cheap La Liga, you know. Pacey dudes that haven't even put in the database yet. Um, but yeah, I really like this team overall, personally. Um, I feel like it's so many underrated players. Obviously, for this one, I would probably play 4-2-3-1. Um, however, Nabry is a bit slow, so you can swap with Sané. The only problem with Sané is a two-star weak foot. But, you know, as a wide player, Sané probably is better. Um... Okay, this one right here, so it looks kind of weird, right? But, like, remember I told you guys, I love the hybrids, all right? I love the hybrids. So, Carrasco right here, um, once again, you can swap them out. Uh, Jao Felix or somebody that you guys want, all right? So, um, this team, I would personally play this in a 4 one 2 one 2 I don't think 4 2 3 one would really work. Uh, so, 4 one 2 one 2 I would go, you know, Sissoko, CDM, Fra uh, Fred, and Ndombele as your center mids. And then I would go, I mean, for these three, you could just have your pick, you know, who's Cam, who's the Strikers. And then uh, we got this Verissimo guy getting the hyperlink to this goalie and then linking to Lodi as well, Ren and Lodi. I think that's a cheeky little link right there. But then right here, we got the Emerson and Romero links going on. Uh, they might be a bit pricey being in the Prem, you know, and all that. So, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. But I still think it's overall, you know, just a little different squad. I didn't want to keep using the same players, but, you know, even saying that, but we... <sighs> We'll see. Okay, um, we got Morales again. Any, literally any La Liga striker you could put up there. Uh, you could literally put like a Fakir up here, actually. Uh, but Fakir, I wouldn't probably play at striker. I'd probably go him at Cam. Um, but yeah, you can do. You guys can throw anyone in there. Valverde is going to be the expensive guy in this team. Uh, him and probably Vinicius. So Valverde's in there. You've got this hyperlink going on, the hyperlink of dreams, Manafa and Pepe hyperlink. This right here, I feel like this is slept on right here, all right? I haven't seen, I, I've looked at some people's teams. I haven't seen anybody go with this. Den, look at Denier, 83 pace, 81 defending, 81 physical. Nobody has ever talked about him. Hardlinks, Alwar as a center mid, I think he's great. Kamara, 88 pace, looks good to me, you know, Lopez. And Lopez offers that Portuguese link as well. Like This is probably one of the most slept-on offenses, in my opinion, man. Uh, let me know if you guys do go with this. Um, but yeah, I, I really like it a lot. I'm really considering this for myself. Okay, so on to one of the... I think we got like a couple more after this. Right here, this one I know looks weird. Um, what I would do in this one is actually literally just go 4-4-2 straight up. Move Belling switch Bellingham and Vardy in-game. Job done, you know? Um... Not an insane team. You got your, you know, players where you need them, though. The pacey players out wide. Obviously, Bailey might be a OTW slash and or team of the week. So, you know, you might have to wait a while to get that card. But any Prem right mid works. And then, yeah, the rest is self-explanatory. They killed Tomato, man. You can go any right back. But I just put a bin to a... Because, I, you know, I, that pace is just crazy. Um, the way they killed it. Not his pace now. But, yeah. 
Uh, okay, Saint Maximin, boys. This one I like a lot. This one's kind of like for my my skillers. So you got Saint Max and Martins out wide, Renato and Sissoko as your uh, midfield with Dave Paul. So I would personally go four and two one two on this one. Correa up there. I mean, it's just a nice team. Like I said, you will see a, a lot of the same players over and over because it's pretty limited right now in the database. But uh, this works once again. So why the hell not, right? Godfrey, I put Pope in there this time, but uh, yeah, I feel like this is as good as it could get for now, you know. Um, so yeah, very nice team right here. I love this hyperlink. I've used it a couple times already, as you guys saw. But great, great, great link. Um, okay, and then the last one on this website, once again. This one is going to be a bit more pricey, you know, so since this is the last one, I try to make it a bit more like a higher, not like a high tier team, but like a middle-ish tier, you know, mid-high tier, um, or just like a middle tier team, I would say. So the guys that are kind of expensive were obviously Mendy, Mili Tao, Lauren is going to be very expensive, De Jong, Dembele is going to be very expensive, Walker, you know, and then you guys, you got some cheaper dudes who are like Neto, you can switch, uh, switch with Courtois. Uh, compared to the other guys, you know, Carrasco, Morales, Godfrey are going to be, and Foden are going to be cheap, but not really dirt cheap, you feel me? Um, but yeah, I just think it's a pretty nice team, pretty self-explanatory, De Jong, Lorente, CDMs, bang, you know, the rest, you just do whatever. But yeah, so that is it for those. I have a couple more that I made off stream, and I'm going to show you guys now. All right, so this one is right here. Um, it looks kind of funky. Uh, Correa is only on 8 chemistry, and I believe Carrasco is on 7. So this might not be for everyone, but uh, yeah, kind of a lot of the players uh, we've already seen, except for the Chelsea boys. Um, okay, and then onto this one right here. Uh, yeah, full Liga Nas. I feel like it's so, so good. This is probably going to be a pretty cheap team as well. Um, you've got your, you know, your three center mids. Boom. This guy, Ever I mean, Everton's going to be on 7, obviously, so... Yeah, maybe that's a problem for some people, but yeah, pretty self-explanatory Liga Nas squad right there. And then the last one we're going to be looking at today, I added some cheeky hero cards in there. Um, Martinez, Correa, Link, uh, once again. Um, but yeah, Di Natale, Barella, a lot of, like I said, a lot of the same guys. Cordoba looks really, really good. Um... Everybody on this does that get 10 chem as well, I believe. Does this guy get 10 chem? Oh, yeah, he does. Nine. So, yeah. Uh, that is it, man. Uh, let me know what you guys think about these squads. Like I said, I know I saw a lot of the same players over and over, but it's so limited right now, you know. Uh, when there's more, I'll do an updated one uh, for you guys. And I'm also going to be doing one with, like, a higher budget, you know, top tier players. So, if that's something you're interested in, stay tuned. Uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed, drop a like. Make sure you guys subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.